Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video, I am going to be talking about how I create my own mock-ups for my candle business's website and all of the pictures that I use for all of my different products. And real fast, I just want to explain what a mock-up is. So mock-ups are used when you have a picture that doesn't have um, an image on it yet, and then you actually Photoshop an image on top of it. So mock-ups have been very popular with like like t-shirt designs, there's a tons of different t-shirt design mock-ups. And um, years ago, I thought to myself, I bet you I could actually create my own mock-ups with my own product photography. That way I'm able to have more of that cohesive look that I like among my photos, having all of the photos look the same, except for having the label and the scent name be, be different. Um, and that's just a particular look that I like. Um, and I thought to myself, you know, I I bet you I could take my own pictures and create my own mock-ups with my products and that is what I did. So I just wanted to explain how I go through that process. So I actually did make a video on this uh, a couple years ago when I was talking about my wax melts and how I make mock-ups of that. Um, but the way that I do that process is way easier now. And I do actually outsource some help um, via Fiverr. So I actually find somebody on Fiverr who is good at um, turning pictures into mock-ups and creating a Photoshop template basically for me um, to be able to then go in and change out the scent name and change out the labels for me. So that is how I utilize it now. So basically what I do is I um, go through the photography. So I take a photo and I find a picture that I really like, um, that I'm like, okay, I wanna make this my main photo. And then that is a photo that I then send over to um, the person who creates this mock-up for me on Photoshop. So I did actually create a video like this a couple years back. I was talking about my wax melts and how I create mock-ups for those. And I did um, a more in-depth and time-consuming process during that time. And it worked well for what it was, but with the way that the candles are, um, it's a curved surface. And I knew that I'd have to utilize Photoshop in order to do this. So I do have Adobe Photoshop. I pay $10 a month for Photoshop and um, Illustrator or Lightroom, I can't remember what it was. There's something else that I pay for, but Photoshop is really the main one that I use. Um, and I am not somebody who is proficient in Photoshop. I know how to get around and do certain things that I've kind of learned along the way, but what I'm not good at is actually being able to create the mock-up template in Photoshop. So in order to do that, I actually go on to Fiverr and I hire somebody to turn whatever photo I want into a mock-up. So the way that it works is I go through the photography process of my candles and my products and I find one photo or multiple photos. There's been many times where I've sent them multiple different photos so I'm able to kind of have some diversity in different kinds of photos and be able to have that freedom to have them say whatever scent name that I want them to say. And then as soon as I have that photo, I will edit it and then I will make it look exactly how I want it to look when I'm posting it on my website or on Instagram or wherever I'm posting it. Um, because you don't want to have a raw image and then go through the process of changing the label and then having to go through and edit all of them. So you, uh, I would edit the photo um, before I have it turned into a mock-up and then I go on to Fiverr and I find somebody who is very good at Photoshop, which I'm not, um, and somebody who is uh, able to turn it into a template mock-up for me. So basically what I have them do is I have them send me over a Photoshop file where they are able to basically turn the label white and then have it 
um, to the right dimensions to where all I have to do is double click on this one little area and then add in my label and then I save it to where it then goes onto the label and it looks like I took that picture with that scent on it. And then I'm able to go through and add in all of the scents that I have in my candle line and then save each one of those photos. So that's how all of the photos can look exactly the same, but um, I don't have to actually go through and take a picture of each one of them. To me, this is a more efficient way to do it and I personally like it better um, because it, even though it can um, add in a little bit more computer work, to me it's easier to have more efficiency in computer work than it is to try to set up the different, like grab all the different scents from the, um, from the candle room that I have in there, all of the products, all of the finished products, and then set it up perfectly and try to get pretty much the same angle, pretty much the same look. Um, because again, I do like the cohesiveness of the way that the candles um, can look when um, all of the main pictures look the same except for it's a different scent name. But yeah, that is how I do it. I just find somebody on Fiverr and then I hire them, um, pay them either five or $10 per picture, have them turn it into a Photoshop uh, template basically for me, a file, a specific file to where I can reopen it all the time on Photoshop and then add in new labels, um, specifically if there's like new scents that I launch or holiday releases or something like that. I have each and every one of my main images in a template form to where whenever there is a scent that I'm wanting to add and get a picture of it, I just go in and add it in. And sometimes I do have to adjust certain things on there. It's not absolutely perfect every time. I do kind of have to change a couple things here and there, but for the most part, it's much easier than trying to either do it myself or doing it kind of like uh, a way that doesn't look like it actually was taken like I want it to look like I took a picture of it. I don't want it to look like I photoshopped it, basically is what I'm getting at. And I don't think that you can tell that any of my photos were actually photoshopped on. Um, and again, that's because I did outsource and hire somebody to um, make sure that it didn't look photoshopped on. But I also don't wanna to have to pay for somebody to um, put that new label on every single different scent. So instead of paying somebody $5 for every single new picture, I just pay somebody to create that template and then I go in and just simply double click on it, add in the new label and then save it myself. And that's another way that yes, I still am doing a little bit more work, but I'm saving money. So there's kind of that middle ground to where I am outsourcing and paying a little bit of money to not have to teach myself and take the time to learn exactly how to create those templates, which I'm sure it's not as hard as what I think it is. Um, but again, it's one of those things as a business owner to where if I can outsource something like that, it's not going to cost me a lot of money and it saves me time that I'm definitely going to do that. So that is my process now of creating mock-ups and um, I really hope that this gave you some insight into maybe something that you'd like to do for your business. Um, again, it saves me a lot of time. I love the look of it. I love being able to have that as an option in case I want to change up the scent name and have like the same picture but do something different with it and just have everything look very nice and cohesive. Um, that is something that I have been doing for quite a while now. Um, I just learned recently recently within this year to utilize Photoshop and outsourcing a little bit to make it even that more uh, professional looking and to where you can't tell that it's Photoshopped because that is a main thing when it comes to mock-up designs is you don't want it to look like it's photoshopped. You want it to look like you took a picture individually of each of your products. So that is how I figured out how to do that. So with that, I think I'm gonna end today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at MemoryBoxCandleCo and I will see you in my next video.